Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you guys a fun lip video. I'm going to be talking about the new Fenty Beauty Fenty Icon lipstick collection that just launched today. I literally ran to my local Sephora to get my hands on these because I was like, I am not missing out on some lippies. I'm gonna be swatching these for you guys, letting you guys know my thoughts, and show you guys how I put them in the refillable case because there is a refillable case. So if you guys want to see these lipsticks in action and my thoughts, then please go ahead and continue watching because trust me, you don't want to miss this video. Okay, so we have the new Fenty Beauty lipsticks right here in this bag. I picked up four different shades of colors and I picked up one case just because I didn't want to pick up one case for each lipstick. If anything, I can just rotate it out. I think that's the easiest thing to do. These come separately. So basically you get the refillable case, which is $12 and then you get the lipsticks which are twenty dollars they look like this so basically what you just do when you have your little lipstick case is you take out the top part which looks like this and then you go in and pop your lipstick in there make sure that it's all the way down so that the lipstick doesn't get smashed or anything because the last thing you want is to ruin the lipstick before you even apply it you're just gonna pop this into the little container that is part of the refillable lipstick case once you have that you literally have the piece of the lipstick on then you just go in and you are going to pop the lipstick like this push it in and then to open it you just twist it and then it comes out i will say though i wish that the lipsticks would have already each came in their cases and then whenever you needed to get a refill, you could just buy the refill separately. So we're just gonna go ahead and start off with the first lipstick that I have here. The Pose Queen is a neutral pink nude. And this little shape of the lipstick is apparently shaped in the shape of Rihanna's Cupid's bow, which I think is super cute little detail that they add. I feel like Fenty Beauty always does a beautiful job of adding really personal touches to each product making it super relatable to you know the core of the brand and everything so i think that's wonderful i'm really excited about this nude because i love me a good nude Ooh, this feels so buttery and like it glides on so smooth it also smells delicious it's like a very very subtle scent it's like a soft sweet like vanilla -y scent but this color oh my gosh okay Oh my God, I love the way this applied on my lips. It's so lightweight, but it's so creamy. These are supposed to be hydrating. They're long wearing and these do have a nice matte finish. They're a creamy semi matte consistency. Um, they have great range of colors. Um, they're hydrating and long wearing. They definitely give me like a soft matte finish. They're not completely matte and they're not gonna be transfer proof. Let's see. There you go. Can clearly see there's transfer but like it's still on the lips. The reason I picked this one was because I felt like this was one of those more wearable nudes on my complexion where I wouldn't have to wear it with a lip liner, but obviously if I wanted to, I could. I could pair this with a gorgeous like brownie tone lip liner and it would really give it dimension. But also I felt like this is gonna be one of those nudes that I could wear alone without a lip liner. And I'm definitely seeing that because if I was like in a rush, didn't have time to pick up a lip liner, this would be excellent without it. So I really love this color. I definitely see myself using this a lot. And I feel like with this makeup that I have going on, it looks absolutely perfect. So this one is in the shade Pose Queen. So now I've just removed it and we're gonna move on to the next shade just because I wanna make sure that this doesn't get damaged. What's good about these refillables though is that they do come with like this case. So you can just put that case back on. If let's say you don't wanna buy a refillable for each lipstick you get, you can just put the case back on and leave it. I'm gonna move on to the next shade, which is called Balling Babe. And we are going to see how this one looks. Okay, so make sure that when you are putting this onto the lipstick case that you have it all the way down because you do not want to ruin your lipstick in case you don't press it in right. And then you just push it in. You push it in and then you can apply this. Okay, so this is the shade Ballin' Babe. Okay, so this is like a mauve nude. 
I can't get over this formula. And it's so easy to apply. I feel like sometimes lipsticks can be hard to apply in certain areas. Like you have to use a lip liner to really get it to like glide on perfectly. But even like doing this like little rough draft with no lip liner, like I feel like this really shapes it perfectly. I love this. The reason I picked the shade up was because I felt like this was one of those shades that let's say I wasn't wearing a full face of makeup and I was wearing a very natural day where I just had on mascara, that's it, moisturizer, SPF, but I still wanted the lip to pop and kind of like enhance the color of my lips, this was gonna be perfection. So there was another more like rosy, nude, mauve tone, but I felt like that one was a little too light and neutral that I feel like if I were to wear that with like a no makeup day, it would kind of wash out everything else and I feel like something like this would make it pop. It's also still very wearable. Um, this is one of those shades that I feel like just enhances the color of your natural lips. So I was like, I have to pick up this shade. And also another shade that looks beautiful with like a more subtle, like neutral tone, warm tone eyeshadow look, I think it's fantastic. So it's perfect for the no makeup makeup look and the glam look. So I love this shade. This is in the shade Ballin Babe. So next up we have here Major Magnate and this one is a cool taupe nude. So let's go ahead and apply this. All these colors look stunning. So all of these that I've tried I'm so happy because I could literally just wear them without lip liners and they would look fantastic. If I decided to add a lip liner it would look great as well but I love the fact that these can be worn without lip liners and you're good to go. The thing I will say with this shade is that in this little area right here I have to kind of apply more product or reapply because I feel like it does kind of fade quicker which tends to happen a lot once you go in with colors that are a deeper tone but um Nonetheless, like everything else, I love perfection. This is another color that, I feel like this makeup look was perfect for this lip swatch video because I feel like it's going with all the looks that I have done and I really like how this is looking. It just, it gives me like boss vibes, you know what I'm saying? It's like a deeper color, but it's still a color that isn't like hard to wear in terms of like, oh, it only goes for a certain occasion or like a certain look. It's not as intimidating for people who may want to venture into like a little bit more of like a deeper tone lipstick, but they don't want to like go in too deep. Um, I think this is an excellent shade, perfect shade to start. I will personally pair this with like a darker lip liner, like a brownie tone, darker lip liner. And I would add like dimension that way with it, but without it, it looks fabulous. So. I love this color. Like I said, this is in the shade Major Magnate. Okay, so the last shade we have here is the shade The MVP. And The MVP is a gorgeous blue red. It is the lipstick that was in a lot of the Fenty Beauty promo for these new lipsticks. And I am super excited for this because I love a good red lipstick. Um, so let's try it. This is the last one that I purchased. So I was like, let me save the best for last. The bold color, the statement, let's try it on. Let me actually, I don't ever like to twist them too high up because sometimes I'm worried that if I twist too high up, I have a very heavy hand. The last thing I want to do is be too excited and like break the lipstick. So I always like to kind of leave it like that and then apply. That is stunning, literally stunning. I love this red. It is the classic red, the statement red, the red that you can wear for your Valentine's Day dinner, your Galentine's Day dinner, whatever it may be. You guys know February, the month of wearing your favorite red color. And I feel like this is one of those colors that will look amazing on everybody. So I'm really loving how this looks. Oh, this is stunning. It is literally stunning. This one right here is the MVP. Okay, so I will first you tried on all four of the shades that I purchased today from Sephora from the new Fenty Icon Lipstick Collection. And I am so impressed with this formula. It is so beautiful and the colors that I picked out are gorgeous. I have to say for me personally, because I know you guys are wondering, do you think they're worth it? Let me know your thoughts. So here are my thoughts. I definitely, like I mentioned in the beginning, this whole refillable applicator is different. I thought that when I first saw the promo, I thought that each one would come already packaged 
in this type of packaging and then you just buy the refill for it whenever you need it but no you have to purchase the case and then purchase the lipstick that you want so it can kind of be a little bit different you can be like mm, i don't know if i want to do that i would say if you do want to purchase multiple shades i would do what i did and just purchase one case and then your lipstick shades and then switch them out what is super helpful is that each one of these comes with a lipstick cover make sure you do not lose these lipstick covers because if you do buy a few like i did then you want to keep these so that you can see which one each one's in um i would say i feel like the people that are gonna like this whole situation the most are definitely those people that have like that one lipstick that they always gravitate towards i know for some people they love their same lipstick they use it every single day and they just want to refill it and for those people i think this is going to be amazing because you have your one favorite lipstick you just pop it in here whenever you need a refill you buy another one and you're good to go i think for those people this will be like the most convenient packaging the lipsticks do retail for 20 dollars, but after trying them on i definitely do think they're worth 20 dollars because this formula feels absolutely stunning like i said it's my favorite formula i felt from high-end lipsticks and that's saying something because i've tried a lot of lipsticks with these lipsticks something that i really loved about it and i think also makes it worth the money besides the formula is the fact that it's shaped in like that cupid's bow the rihanna cupid's bow um shape at the top which makes it really nice and easy to apply so when you're going in with these more bold tones i feel like you can easily get in with no issues. Okay, so I know you guys are gonna ask me, what is my favorite shade? So my favorite shade is definitely the first shade that I tried on, and that's because I love a good nude lipstick. I feel like it's like the perfect nude for me because it's a nude where I can still wear it without a lip liner, but if I wanna add a lip liner, it's just gonna take it to the next level. It's that perfect wearable nude. It's not too pink, but it's not too like nudie nude it's like that perfect neutral nude and i feel like it goes perfect with my looks and everything so i love that one i also really love the shade balling babe i feel like that's another shade that will be perfect for like a more every day running errands or maybe going out to eat or something or like you know somewhere where you want your lips to like pop it's like that perfect like a more enhanced color version of your lips uh, my lips are pretty pink so like i feel like it kind of enhances that the pose queen and balm babe are are my my go-to's for sure i think that it is worth checking out if you're on the hunt for a good lipstick you want good quality you want something super pigmented something hydrating something that will look fantastic i think you should check this out so those are pretty much all my thoughts i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video where i talked about the new Fenty Icon lipsticks. So down below in the comment section, let me know which one was your favorite. Also, let me know if you guys are checking these out or if you've already purchased one. Let me know what you think of it. I would love to know your thoughts um, and I love interacting with you guys. So let's go ahead and start our conversation down below. If you guys did enjoy watching this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let's move to continue doing these type of videos for you guys. I've really been loving these lip swatch videos. They're so fun for me. I think that's all I have for you guys. Have a fabulous weekend. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.